Hello everyone. You folks might already know what do we mean by a Pythagoras theorem. What does this theorem talk about? How do we define the Pythagoras theorem? That might be clear. But in this video, what I wanted to talk about was inverse Pythagoras theorem. What is this fancy name all about? Let's discuss that in detail. Let's also see the proof related to that. But before moving to the inverse Pythagoras theorem, let me give you a quick overview of what is Pythagoras theorem. So for a right angle triangle, let's say this is my right angle triangle and something, oops, let me, let me make this correctly. Okay. So if this is my right angle triangle and let's name it triangle A, B, C. This is A, this is B, and this is C, which is our hypotenuse. According to Pythagoras theorem, according to Pythagoras theorem, the sum of the squares of A and B, that is A square plus B square, will be equal to the square of the hypotenuse, that is C square. The A square plus B square equals to C square is the Pythagoras theorem that all of us already know. But what the hell is this inverse Pythagoras theorem then? Now, you know, let's do one thing. Let's do some construction and let's let's first understand what is inverse Pythagoras theorem and let me write that down for you first. Inverse Pythagoras theorem. Please forgive me for my handwriting, but I hope you can understand the concept and what I'm writing on the screen. Let me draw the height from this point B extending to the hypotenuse. Let me draw that in yellow color. So this would be my height H and this height H, how is this uh, significant? So for example, if I need to write the area of this right angle triangle, there would be two ways to write this. So the area, so the area can actually be you know that uh, the, um, the area of any triangle is half times base into height. Now it depends from what angle, from what perspective are you looking at this right angle triangle. If you look at like this as given here, this AB will be height and this BC will be base. So the area would be half into base into height. That is half into base is B and height is A to so half AB. But if you just try to imagine it in a way, for example, if you are, let's say, looking at from this angle, right, this is your eye and you are looking at it like this, such that AC is the base, then the area for this would be, the base would be C and the height would be this H. So the area can also be written as half into base C, assuming AC as the base and height with respect to C as the base, this H will be the height to so half into C into H. And both of them will actually give you same area. This and this, they would be equal to each other. Now the inverse Pythagoras theorem says that, and sorry for actually, you know, talking about inverse Pythagoras theorem after a couple of minutes. So according to inverse Pythagoras theorem, one upon a square plus one upon b square is actually equal to one upon h square. One upon a square, plus one upon p square that is reciprocal of the squares of the sides, the legs of this triangle will be equal to the reciprocal of the height of square, height square. And this height will be drawn considering AC as the base and opposite side, opposite vertex B as the point. So this height. So this is inverse Pythagoras theorem. And you can quickly prove this and there would be multiple approaches on how you can prove this. For example, we talked about area, right? And now we know half times AB is equal to half times CH. So let's equate them and see what do we have here. So half AB is equal to half CH. Multiply both sides by two. So we and this half will be gone. So AB is equal to CH and this you can write. Now let's square both the sides. And why are we doing that? Because this final equation is in the squares, right? So somehow if we have to relate this to this, we know that at any step during the calculation, we have to square the equation. So let's square them. So this will give us A square B square is equal to C square H square. 
Now as per Pythagoras theorem, c square is equal to a square plus b square. So this can be written as a square times b square is equal to substituting c square as a square plus b square times h square. Right? Makes sense. Now uh, let's do one thing. Let's just cross multiply. So from here we can write from here we can write 1 upon h square is equal to a square plus b square upon a square times b square so you know this came this side and h square came this side simple simple you know simplification of a equation so 1 upon h square will be equal to 1 upon b square plus 1 upon a square this is inverse Pythagoras theorem. This is one way to prove this. Another way to prove this, so this entire approach will remain the same, right? These steps will remain as it is. It's all about getting this first step here, right? One way to get this first step was through area because, you know, the area of the triangle will not change irrespective of however you calculate it, right? So half times AB is equal to half times CH. We equated both of them and this is what we got. From there, we simplified. Another way to think about this, think about inverse Pythagoras theorem, will be through similarity. Similarity of triangles. And like I said, it's all about getting this first step here. After that, the calculation will remain as it is. Now, you know that uh, for a Pythagoras, for a right angle triangle, if this is the height, you can see three triangles that are formed here, right? Uh, for example, let me shade that for you. This is the first one. This blue triangle is the first one. Then we have our second triangle, this pinkish one. Right? This is the second triangle. And the third triangle is the original triangle ABC. Three triangles. And through similarity, you can actually prove that the three triangles that you can see here, this blue one, pink one, and the bigger one, are similar to each other. I won't go to the proof of how do how should we prove that they are similar. That's the concept that we will learn in some other video. Let me know in comments if you want me to make a video on the similarity of these three triangles. But I would have assumed that you can prove that and uh, these three triangles formed here are similar to each other. Now we'll use that concept and you know this is H. This is H. We'll use that concept to get to this first step here. And then after that, everything remains the same. How? So let's say, let's take the bigger triangle, triangle ABC, ABC, and the smaller one. Let's call this point M, triangle ABM, triangle ABM. So this would be similar to triangle AMB. ABC and triangle AMB, they would be similar to each other. And now they are similar to each other. So their corresponding sides will be proportional. So let's write that down. So this BC is B upon H is equal to, this is 90, so side opposite to uh, this, this is C, so this would be C equal to, this is again 90 and this was 90, side opposite to 90 is A, so C upon A, and this is finally equal to, for the bigger triangle, side of this angle will be equal to this angle. Sorry, my bad. This angle will be equal to this angle, right? So anyways, we won't need that. This is, uh, you know, let's say if this side was X units from A to M. So according to that, this will be equal to A upon X. See, uh, you might be confused here, but uh, I'm just assuming that you would be comfortable to get to this equation here right so we would just need the first part so from here we can write cross multiply a b is equal to ch the first step from where we started a b equals to ch and after that the calculation will remain as it is so there are two ways you know and there can be other ways also to prove this inverse pythagoras theorem one is by equating the area other is by similarity and you could have taken you know this triangle also along with the bigger one you would still get the same value after that it's the same exact steps and you can get to the inverse pythagoras theorem so i hope this makes things clear for you and you are now comfortable comfortable with inverse pythagoras theorem
So have a have a good day. Thank you.